Welcome back to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077 with me, Jerupidus. And today, I feel like fighting, so we're just gonna do a whole bunch of blue side missions. Um, all the assault and progresses in the area. Ooh, a couple of access points are right here, I think. Yep, let's do it. And one more down below, I think. Yep, right here. And a bunch of stuff to pick up. And once we're all done with this, I do want to get some reading done. We are definitely uh, a little bit behind again. And I feel like reading today. I think that'll be fun. And I know that I'm holding a ton of stuff, so we also need to hit a drop point really soon. Man, another access point? They're all over the place here. <laughs> yeah, let's keep on looting. I apparently didn't do a very good job when I finished this, so... Even Skippy's getting bored. <laughs> He's ready to shoot some people at these uh, assaults in progress for sure. Alright, that was a lot of stuff. Wow. Alright, well, let's get to the journal. And let's read Interview with the Queen of the Metro Jungle. Here's a tasty morsel for all those fascinated by the secrets of the Night City Underbelly. After months of stonewalling and upsetting threats, I finally arranged an interview with a member of the Animals Gang. We met in a bar on the far west side of Pacifica. When she pierced my eyes with her own slitted pupils, I thought back to those old wildlife docuvids I used to watch and realized I must have felt just like those gazelles did when ambushed by a pride of lions. Interviewer. Truly, thank you for agreeing to this interview. They didn't mind your pack? Herd? A non-animal burst of laughter. They don't give two rat shits. I do what I want when I want. They got a problem, me and them can square up. Thing is, I know they all too scared to try. Interviewer. Are all the animals guided by the survival of the fittest principle? A non-animal? Bet your ass. If you ain't hard, you're a blood bag waiting to pop. That's why we bulk. Roids, modified horse, horse growth hormones? That's hard to say. <laughs> At least half a day in the gym? Interviewer interrupts. Wait, wait. Did you say horse? Uh, animal? Laughs. What did you think animals is just some cute name? Humans are weak by nature. Hippos, though? They can eat a whole crock. Can you? And dude, tigers? Four-inch canines and 700 pounds of pure fucking majesty. That's who we are. The alpha beasts of Night City. Kings and queens of life and death. Interviewer, you sound like a poet. Animal laughs. Say that again and you'll be wearing your jaw like a hat. Interviewer, nervous laughter. <laughs> yes, well. <clears throat> Is it true you reject the use of cybernetics? A non-animal, yes and no. Cold processors can be hacked, so we steer clear of those. But retractable blades, metal claws, titanium jaws, leopard print tech leather, that's another story. Interviewer, fascinating. Well, I won't keep you any longer, so let me thank you for your time today. Is there anything else you'd like to express to our readers? Uh, and the animal says, don't fuck with the animals, Night City. We'll rip you apart, chew you up, and spit out the bones. Yes, that does sound like them. And this one I'm very interested in. Uh, Silverhand, the creator and destroyer of Samurai. Hidden somewhere between the Arasaka propaganda and Silverhand's own self-curated image, there's a real story behind the front man of Samurai. The fact of the matter is no one truly cared to find it. Labels, legends, slogans to chant, that's all anyone ever wanted from him. But by digging meticulously into all the dirty details of his life, all the inconsistencies and exaggeration come to light. 
One of the biggest gaps in Silverhand's life was the period he spent with nomad communities. Hidden from civilization, Johnny could have acted like himself and removed the mask he wears in public. If the world could get testimonies from the people who had contact with Johnny during this period, not only would every biographer be grateful, but, more importantly, experts might have a real chance to offer a clinical diagnosis for one of the rock scene's most iconic personalities. That would be interesting to ask uh, some nomads about that time if anyone met them. And let's do a couple more here. Informational bulletin. A, a recent taken by Network Security Services, uh, Northwest Alistair Division, dealt another serious blow to subversive factors that threaten public security. Ten crates of illegal equipment corrupted with the Himeros 3 demon were secured and five suspected netrunners are now behind bars. We continue to call on you, the public, to report any suspicious net activity. It's up to everyone to contribute in the fight to secure a free and safe net. Okay. And then the long return aftermath of the Great Nomad Tragedy. Let's read this. Most sources indicate that the governments of Peru, Brazil, and Chile have come up to uh, with have come to a solution for the so-called nomad problem. In an attempt to prevent the illegal transnational movement and typically temporary settlement of nomad clans across the South American continent, they plan to seal all borders to undocumented persons of dubious origin. Uh, protestations from scholars, human rights groups, and even corporate representatives have thus far been ignored. Some corporations have voiced concerns that stifling the flow of migrant work could lead to economic decline and unpredictable social unrest. For example, some experts predict the local Brazilian workforce will simply be too small to meet the employment demands of ongoing major agrocorp ventures. This push for tightened anti-nomad immigration policies comes as yet another heavy blow from South American governments against an already heavily targeted demographic. More information can, continues to surface about the so-called long return, where hundreds of thousands of nomads lost their jobs without warning and had their equipment, much of it personal, not company property, illegally seized by government authorities. Most laborers were relocated from North America specifically for this work and, without corporate support, were forced to vacate the hazardous area formerly home to the Amazon rainforest in a week's time. With their only lifeline suddenly severed and no legal basis for staying, many dozens of thousands attempted to find a way home, even if that mean walking much of that distance. Meant walking much of that distance, probably. Uh, initial reports show staggering figures for the number who died during this mass exodus. Many still ask why. Who benefits from these anti-nomad policies and border closures, if not the South American nations or corporations? Many speculate that lobbyists from Orbital Air and other Lunar Colony representatives played a key part. Their objective, some allege, is to limit opportunities for migrant contract work so more will be forced for the sake of survival to accept employment in the notoriously difficult labor conditions of low Earth orbit and on the moon. Wow, that is really interesting. It seems like even now, migrant workers are still getting the short end of the deal from everybody. And I think that's enough of that for now, but we will have to keep doing those for a little while to catch back up. And let's get to some of these uh, assaults in progress. And I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and use the pistol for all of these to keep kind of farming the experience for that category. Because it's getting me perk points pretty quickly because it was such a low level. We're getting to the point where that may not be worth it. But also Skippy is pretty fun to use. Um, he is very, very ridiculously good, so we'll just go ahead and uh, knock these out really quickly using Skippy. And we're all done with all of the boxing things, although I suspect that might be a false finale and there may be one more. Looks like it's going to be beneath the bridge. Uh, but we'll see. Okay, lady. Let's what check this out. Place. Thank you. Skill shard crafting, awesome, and archive conversation. Let's give this a read. Monica, hey, set the scratch. Nina, okay, get ready. Grab a gun, goggles in case there's a sandstorm, weeks worth of food and water. Monica, all right, listen, can't be sure someone won't follow me. Nina, not good. Who? Monica, animals, very not good. What did you do? Monica, one of them killed my son, so I took his life in exchange, an eye for an eye. 
You know, the girl, these are things you mentioned up front. You're radioactive now. I'd be wise to cut loose here, but shit, whatever. We'll see what we can do. Monica, appreciate it. Nina, see you in two hours. Overpass El Camino. Del Mar, don't be late. All right. And we are overburdened, of course. God, I need to get to a drop point. Let's go ahead and disassemble some stuff. And, of course, pick up more crap. Archive conversation. Sheila and Keenan. Let's give this a read. Sheila, why aren't you answering? Keenan, fuck. <laughs> Keenan, you even know what time it is? Sheila, sure do, and I know who ordered the hit on Logan. Uh, Keenan, exclamation points, who? Sheila, some chick, Monica Steiner. Keenan, that guy's mom, Lenny's mom. Sheila, yep, knows things are heating up, wants to skip town, paid some smugglers. Gotta get a crew together, catch her before she flies. You in? Keenan, sure fucking am. Sheila, cool, be there in 10. So that's the other side of it. I guess... Maybe I'm, like, an exceptionally reasonable person, but if I was part of a gang, and someone in the gang killed someone's kid, and then that person went and killed that gang member, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I wouldn't be like, let's go get them back for something we did wrong in the first place. Um, but I suppose gangs are not reasonable people. That's why they're gangs. Um, how do I get back up to where I was? Here we go. This looks good. What even is this building? It looks like some kind of government building. Not clear. Oh, but there is an access point not far from here, isn't there? Yeah, why don't we hit that? Uh, drop point, I mean. And sell all of our access stuff. We did disassemble a lot, but I want to just sell everything that's taking up space because I have been getting overburdened, like, pretty regularly. Help us build this Help us build this This is a dope impromptu dance party. But there's no time for dancing now. We have to go on a killing spree. And why don't we go ahead and check our loadout quick? Nothing there. I do want to get this uh, legendary trench coat on at some point. I, I wish it was iconic because I believe this was Placides. Um, but either way... Ooh, corporate dress? But no, nothing better. I do like the legendary, but I really want to keep my crit chance. The way our build is working, uh, our crits are actually pretty important. This is actually better with no, uh, no mods. Let's put it on. Not nearly as cool as the gold pants, but I'm just going to go with it because I'm pretty sure I can sell this for quite a bit. And the mods that are in it are, uh, not great. I don't- I doubt I'm ever gonna wear different shoes, honestly, for the rest of the game. Oh, I never read what this says. Okay, let's- let's check this out. I think they had some Weefle Runner playing Sysop for them. I burned in, jolted the guy with a borrowed Hellbolt, and did the major plunder action all over the Data Fortress. You guys who live in real space, you move so slow. Me, I like net space. It moves fast, you don't get old, you don't get slow and sloppy. You just leave the meat and go screaming. Spider Murphy. Cool. Yeah, like, nothing's ever gonna be better than these, right? Like, if I find something better, I will be absolutely shocked. Alright, let's sell everything we're not wearing, then. All right, made a decent bit of cash there. And let's check out the next spot. Yep, it's going to be right there. Capital is the blood of the global system of oppression. Nah, couldn't 
bit of sail things. Gotta keep picking up my junk. I love my junk. <laughs> That's actually kind of a weird phrase. All right, let's get back on the bike and let's go killing again. Is it another one beneath? Yep, sure looks that way. Wait to recover from the fall. And we are already done. Don't really get much there. And I don't see anything to read. Guy had some counterfeit documents, but those aren't like a shard or an archive conversation, so I'm not really sure what they were doing. Um, I mean, I'll look around a bit, but... Okay, whatever. Moving on. I haven't ever cleared out, like, an area of all of the blue missions, so I'm kind of curious about what's going to happen if I do that. The answer is maybe nothing, but... I want to find out anyway. Ah, don't crush me. All right. All right, out of the way, greats. But yeah, using Skippy, I should just be able to blast through these. It's actually pretty satisfying. And I'm starting to feel like I've mastered turning a bit. However, that is quite a few enemies. Let's answer the NCPD. APB to all NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported on Pacific Boulevard. Anton Kolev, a known leader among scavengers, believed to be present and wanted on four counts of first-degree murder. Night City authorities have promised a reward for neutralizing Kolev and his entourage. Yeah, I'm feeling like this one isn't one we're going to get to just shred with Skippy. So maybe we can be sneaky about it. Are these? But they're not interested in me at all. Okay, cool. I have an idea, though. All right, no breach protocol for me. I just wanted to listen to what they had to say. Man, there are so many people here. Okay. 
Right, let's breach protocol. And now let's hit him with a contagion. What are you five? Get out here. Let's make sure no one can see us. That just crushed him. <laughs> Contagion still needs about five seconds, so why don't we go detonate grenade? And they're going to reveal my position in just a sec here. Man, is that ever good. Yeah, overheat just absolutely shreds people. All right, who's left? Let's just do short circuit, even though he's human. Wish I could see his life bar. Yep, that got both of them, so the spread distance on that is fantastic. Short circuit seems to have dropped him. And I think that's it. That's pretty sick. Like, you can honestly just sit there and kill everyone without firing a shot. All right, let's take all their stuff. Wow. I'm really impressed by that. Implant list. Let's give this a read. Uh, Arasaka Yonaguni XC. It's just going to be a bunch of them. Not super interesting, so let's move on. But let's see what we can see on their computer. Uh, Kiroshi Extreme Sight 4553. Hey, you looking to unload a Kiroshi Extreme Sight? I got the 2553. Kiroshi stopped updating the software that model. Vision's acting up, especially when it starts getting dark. Not too great in my line of work. Anyway, you run into one or something similar, let me know. I'll pay Jason. And from Anton, okay, should be able to find something. Give you a call by next week. All right. So I guess they're running sort of a uh, bootleg cyberware ring. All right, can't pick that up. Let's move on. Yeah, we did not fire one bullet. That was amazing. Now, these people over here, I believe they're scavs. Let's scan them again. Yeah, they're affiliated with the scavs. They're, they all gotta die. That's just fun to do. Unfortunately, they didn't have anything worth taking. Boy, a sniper rifle bullet doesn't even touch this. <laughs> I wonder why it says I'm still in combat. 
Ah, that would be why. Yeah, I think that uh, quick hacking is maybe one of the strongest things you could be doing, but there are certainly a lot of different builds uh, that this game allows for, which is pretty cool. And, like, hacking feels overpowered, but I kind of feel like if you invest solidly enough in any tree, it'll end up feeling overpowered. But, like, the fact that I can literally just press a couple of buttons and kill, like, nine people is kind of amazing. Let's keep going on these. Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm just in the mood to just do all combat. That's just how I'm feeling today. Looks like it's up there somewhere. Right, well, that's locked, so that's a shame. And I died for no reason. <laughs> that was weird. I want to just try that again. Yep, I died for absolutely no reason. <laughs> so how do I get up there? Maybe I've got to kind of go past. Or there's a way in in the tunnel here. Doesn't really look that way. Hmm. Maybe I can get up to that level by uh, climbing this. No, it doesn't look that way either. Hmm. The line is taking me around. Maybe I just got to get around the wall. All right, I can do that. And I wonder what kind of assault this will be. Are you happy with the autonomous shooting function? Please jump to confirm. Yep, we're not even asking any questions. And this is probably what we need. Cool, resist and orders. Let's read that. Uh, Misha, Tani, and Rob tracked down another Militech bunker. Looks like they sealed it up and bounced after the war. Not sure what they left inside, but since it's Militech, I don't think it's toasters. Misha says there's at least one turret by the entrance, still powered. Could be some mines and drones. So in other words, get ready for a fight, but it should be worth it. Let me know how it goes and send a list of what you find. So that makes me want to explore this then. Can I get in here? Nope. Interesting. Well, let's pick up all their stuff. Yeah, I mean, they were definitely trying to get inside here, but... That doesn't necessarily mean that I can get inside. But I'm gonna try for a little bit here. Let's say Reaper smiles upon you. Cool. Well, that's kind of, um disappointing where like you're feeling a little tantalized by what could be in here and there's not there doesn't seem to be a way to get in 
Yeah, it just doesn't look that way. All right, well, let's keep moving. We'll go ahead and hit that one. The reported crime, which is not the same thing as an assault in progress, but it will go down the same way. With a hail of skippy bullets. are a bit repetitive. I am still having fun doing them. And uh, seeing how my quick hack damage has ended up working out. Which is pretty exciting. I'm not sure how viable it would have been before now if I had just kind of dove right into it. I mentioned early on in the playthrough that hyper-specializing is in your best interest. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's see what happened here. Let's give this a read. Uh, Nina Cello to Lucy. Lucy, 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 come on, pick up. And Lucy, sorry I was asleep, what is it? Nina took some lead, was in the combat zone, passed the wall, scavenging gear, and that fucks people shot me, that general or some shit. Bleeding heavily, you gotta help me. Lucy, where are you? Nina, dunno, track my biomon. Lucy, I can't, where are you? Nino, shit, they must have turned it off. Lucy, who? Nina Cello, where the hell are you? Nina, don't know there's some homeless people here, but it's dark. I really don't know. Lucy, so ask them. Ask someone. Nina, flicking you coordinates and the pass. File. Uh, Lucy, you sent me the wrong address. You get that? Send me your current location. Nina, answer me. I'm begging you. Nina, Nina, please. Nina is dead. So that's sad. But it, uh, I mean, that was a pretty short one. There was just one drone. All right, we'll hit this one then. Is that taking me there? Ah, Nina's hideout. That's what we want. Those always um are a little glitchy where they take a second. Just a little bit on fire, no big deal. But the nice thing is they're never too far away. And I think this is generally speaking how the reported crimes go. Is that you get to them and then they give you a new location. Like I'm starting to get um, how they work and how they're different from each other. Like Assault in Progress always has a uh, archive conversation. Reported crime always has a stash. And then uh, organized crime always has just a ton of enemies. So it looks like it's down below. <sighs> Through there. Is that all the mines? I sure hope so. Just a crappy power pistol, man. All right, well, let's read the uh, archive conversation. Uh, Nina Cello, Dad, Peter Cello, are you trying to give me a stroke? Nina, Dad, please. Peter, stop going beyond the wall. Have you learned literally nothing after what happened to me? You think any of those clowns sending you on those runs will be there to help when things go south? Don't be stupid, Nina. Quit while you're ahead, please. It's not worth it. Trust me. Well, in this instance, Dad was right. So just a crabby pistol and some upgrade components? Okay. Could be worse. But it's kind of cool that it takes you to this secret little location. I never would have found that otherwise. If there's anything positive to say about this. And it looks like this assault on progress and then a couple over here are it. So let's go do it.
Skippy wants me to choose violence, and today, Skippy is in charge. Alright, this one's a little tougher. The missile turret is uh, a little bit of an issue. Let's see if I can get a look at that. There it is. Let's initiate overload on it. And I think with that, the remaining enemies should be more trivial. Fun fact. The human body holds between five and seven meters of blood. That one appears to have some cyberware, so why don't we hit them with a cyberware malfunction? If I can just stay on them. Definitely the toughest one so far. That turret is scaring me a little bit. Okay, there we go. And let's see if we can find what's on their computer. All right, job from La China to Ellen Verde. Gig type gun for hire, objective Alejandro Gaver, location Arroyo, Olivia Street. Ellen, I want you to eliminate Alejandro Gaver for me. Found out that fucker settled with Militech. Make him an example to anyone else thinking about betraying me. Uh, from Ellen, listen, I'm out for good, no more gigs. From La China, you better think hard before telling me no. I've given you everything, and I can take it all away. From Ellen, I knew you wouldn't understand. Goodbye. And hey, got a problem from deleted to encrypted. Ah. Uh, more spam. Someone getting out of the gig life. That's something that I would never even consider doing. So let's read this archive conversation. Uh, Misha, yo, shit went down in Pacifica. Should be something to pick and choose from. Misha sending you the address. Oh, wait, she's still breathing. What do we do with her? Lady looks like a fucking corpo soldier. Maybe better not to touch her. Dan, hang on a sec. Be right there. Okay. Hello, user. I have prepared a usage data report for you. Please say anything to continue. All right, show me what you got. User, I have assisted you in killing over 50 people. Stone Cold Killer Mode has been deactivated. From this point on, only puppy-loving pacifist will be available. Thank you. But why? I like Stone Cold Killer Mode. But why? Why is it blocked? Opening frequently asked questions. Item. Why can't I kill more than 50 people? Answer. The fuck is wrong with you? Please go see a therapist, you psycho. Note to self. Rewrite later. Do not forget. So how do I undo that? I want to. I want to kill more people. Shit. Can I undo it? Checking now. Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum bum 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 be dum. Answer found. No. Permission denied. I'm so glad I could be of assistance. Well, that's unfortunate, but. At least I can still use it on Cyber Psychos. But that's kind of a bummer. This was, like, probably by far my best gun. I doubt that, uh... It makes too much of a difference, but the headshots do do a lot more damage. So I feel like that makes Skippy relatively useless, but we'll try him for a while longer.
and I definitely want to do this excess point. And we'll kind of see how the damage on this thing is now that it refuses to headshot anymore. Um, but worst case scenario, we can just go back to the katana. Yeah, all right, let's get to one more assault in progress, and we'll try out our newly uh, nerfed Skippy on that one. Good lord. I wonder if my bike killed that guy <laughs> by trying to get to me. But anyway, we're out of there. We were never there. <laughs> I will say that if the limit is 50, that went by pretty quickly. But they probably realized that Skippy is pretty powerful. Yeah, it's actually not much worse. Fun fact. According to traditional Christian doctrine, you are going to burn in hell. Uh, only one bullet left. Alright, that should be everybody. I think he was trying to quick hack me, and that is not something I can allow. So archive conversation between Susan and Peter. Susan, it's never enough. It's this fucking job. Peter told you to stay in prevention. You spend your whole day editing BDs and fucked up shit. You will get fucked up yourself. Susan Chum, it's that high you get when you jump out of the murder vic. It's fucking unreal. You feel like you're really living. I'm fucking hooked, understand? Peter, yeah, got it. You wouldn't be the first editor on the force either. Susan, we don't have like an NCPD assistance program. Peter, in the NCPD, what? You just start yesterday? Come on. This, this one you gotta deal with on your own. Listen, I'll send you a contact. I know, guy I know, gangoon, but all right. Sell you some scrolls. Once you're hooked, you're hooked. You're not the first, but there's ways to live with it. Just don't meet in uniform. Susan, I'm not a fucking gonk. Peter, hey, nothing personal. I just know how this stuff can go sideways. Wanted to throw it out there. Looks like it did, in fact, go sideways. So I guess those, um... Like, confession of a brain dance addict and stuff like that, I guess you can actually get addicted to them. Seemingly pretty badly. Ooh, increases crit damage by 30? Hmm, I wonder if that's better than what I've got. That's actually pretty interesting. So let's read this. Uh, Michael, I guess? Michael, yo fuckwad, the fuck kind of scop you land me in? Bitch had a badge in the car. She's a fucking cop. Or she was, heh. <laughs> Sasha, you think I didn't fucking know? Already sold that cunt rag a bunch of BDs. Uh, Michael, and you didn't say nothing? Fuck, how the fuck was I supposed to know Miss Blue was in it for herself? Thought it was a setup. Sasha, so you zeroed her? Michael, bet your fucking ass I did the hell I was supposed to do. Sasha, shit, clean it up somehow? Burn the body or toss it quick? Michael, Chum, what sort of gonk you think I am? So, yep, she left the badge in the car. So she was a bit of a gonk. I guess. All right. And that is going to clear out all of the blue jobs from this area, which is pretty sweet, I think. There is still actually reported crime here. I take that back, but that's going to have to wait until next time because I'm all out of time for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.